So here we go, this semifinal. This is to get into the MLP Super Final. And Riley Newman gets it. It's game point, 2016. And look who's up, Christian Alshon. You have four chances to do this, Christian. You just need one point, and your team makes it to the Super Finals. And you're playing against Ben Johns. He's going to do this, right? Look at this. Christian Alshon playing the best point of his life. But still, Ben Johns plays it a little bit better. Watch this. What a crazy rally. Oh, and Ben wins it on Christian Alshon. Was Christian able to win this matchup? Did DC make it to the Super Final? What happened at MLP this week? We're going to talk all about it. Welcome to the Sorry Not Sorry Pickleball Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Kelly. This week, it's MLP, the last MLP event of the year. The Season 2 Super Final Playoffs. It's kind of a weird format. They shortened everything. It was still a ton of fun. It was only two days long, but we still had plenty of good pickleball. And we're in beautiful San Clemente. We're going to talk all about this. But before we do, if you guys wouldn't mind, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel in case you're not already subscribed. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you thought about MLP this week. What are your predictions for next year for MLP? If you want to help support the show, go ahead and check out the Etsy store. The link is in the description below. A lot of people have been hitting up the Etsy store. Really appreciate all the support. You could also leave me a super chat in case you want to ask a question or if you just want to get something off your chest to the world. Go ahead and do that. And with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into this week's episode. This is the new and improved forgiveness. Forgiveness is more than saying sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Forgiveness. I'm not sorry I took the money. <laughs> Guys, today I'm really excited. We got a new sponsor. The first sponsor of Sorry Not Sorry. It's Pickle. PCKL, one of the fastest growing brands right now in pickleball. They've got their raw carbon fiber pro series, 13 and 16 millimeter paddle. And they also got this really awesome ball, the Pickle Elite 40. If you use promo code SORRY, that's S-O-R-R-Y, you're going to get 15% off your order for whatever you want on the website. I wouldn't have a sponsor on the show unless I really like them. This company is great. They're based out of Atlanta. They got a ton of different pickleball products on their website. I mean, they got paddles, balls. They even have lead tape strips that they got that you could just put right on your paddle. It's already pre-cut, so that way it's even. In the past, I always tried to like cut up my own lead tape, and that never goes well. It's always out of balance and stuff. I've been playing with their paddles and all their balls recently. They got a 30-day trial on their paddles, too, so you really got nothing to lose by giving it a try. What's sick, too, is they're actually going to be launching a ball recycling program. I've been wondering who the heck is going to do that. And finally, there's somebody that's going to do that. So in 2024, there's going to be more to come on that ball recycling program. It's also free shipping on any orders over 75 bucks. So guys, go support them. They're doing good stuff over there. They got great balls. They got great paddles. I love playing with it. Use promo code SORRY for 15% off your order. Again, that's promo code SORRY, S-O-R-R-Y. Thank you, Pickle, for supporting the show. All right, MLP, let's talk about it. Let's start off by talking about the Challenger semifinals that happened. So here was the situation. We had an abbreviated last event. Now, the way it worked for Challenger League was we had the SoCal Heart Eights. They won the last two events. They've been great. So what they did was they had two other teams, the Shock and the BLQK Bears, and they were going to have a playoff match between these two teams. And whoever won this is going to take on the Hard Eights for the Super Final for the Challenger League. So this was like the only semifinal match. And man, was it a great one. By the way, it was so funny. This game started so early on a Monday morning. Look at that crowd there. That is like, what, 25 people? Compare it to PPA. Just the day before, look how many people are there. And that's just one side. The whole other side had a ton of people too. And then you got this game and look, there's nobody over there on that side. I mean, it was such a bummer. I wanted to go to this, but I have work like most people. Half the people in attendance here probably work at Lifetime. Not only was this impossible to go to, it was impossible to watch. I mean, it's a Monday morning. Come on now. It was supposed to be the following weekend, but then it's just been a mess with this whole merger thing with the PPA. I'm just glad they had the event at all, to be honest. I'm not even sure if we'll get another event. So we really got to soak this MLP in. All right, first up, we got women's doubles. We got the BLQK Bears rolling out Alex Strong and Tina Pisnik. They're a great squad, and they were taking on Jeannie Arakina and Judah Castillo. 
And the BLQK Bears, they're almost guaranteed a win when it comes to women's doubles. So they win this one easily, 21 to 15. Bears looking good after that first game. So then we go to men's doubles, Rob Nunnery and Martin Emmerich taking on Eric Pilette and Rob Cassidy. And look at that. Just hit it down the middle. Rob Cassidy, for the first time playing with the Bears, they just picked him up. And oof, he had kind of a rough game. Footfall right there. Not a good start. 4-4 here. Check out this body bag. Emmerich, tag, right in the throat. Got him good. So BLQK Bears up 6-4 here. Got a two-point lead. Rob Cassidy starting to get into a little bit of a groove until another footfall. <laughs> Not a good start for him. Two footballs very early. So it's 1917 here. This game was really close up until this point. 1917. We're going to get into a fun little rally here. Watch this. Rob Nunnery playing some good defense. They finally get to the kitchen line and watch this. Body bagged. Eric Bailette right in the gut. How is this dude even awake right now? Literally the night before, Rob Nunnery was in Chicago playing the APP with Andre Diescu. But Rob Nunnery doesn't need sleep. Rob Nunnery goes hard. Just ask Andre Diescu. When he gets hard, that's, a, that, that's when he gets really motivated. Energy gets even better. So, uh, yeah. Uh, going to the winner's bracket final. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we can... Uh, <laughs> Did I hear that right? When he gets hard, that's, a, that, that's when he gets really motivated. Energy gets even better. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, happy to be going to the winner's bracket final. And uh, So that's yeah. where the chemistry comes bracket from. Bracket final. We'll see you guys later on this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> the awkward handshake, too. We'll take it quick. <laughs> so anyways, back to the game, 2017. And Rob Nunnery, he's got the energy. He looks motivated. He must be hard because they win this one. They tie it one to one. First mixed match. This one was a little bit close. The shock end up edging it out. Rob Nunnery and Judah Castillo, they're going to take this one 21 to 18. It's 2-1 now. Shock have a chance to win this in their next mix match. So this game was pretty tight. It was 15 to 13 here. Shock up by two. They're trying to win this series. BLQK Bears. They're trying to force a dream breaker on them. Rob Cassidy playing mix as the lefty with Tina Pisnik, probably the Bears' best player. Look at that. Trickles over the net. And then watch this in a second. We're going to see an amazing get from Emmerich. Oh, and Rob Cassidy tries the no-look overhead. Doesn't work. Shock up three. 19-17. Shock looking to get it to a game point. Cassidy tries the Ernie. Can't get it. Genie's there. One point away from winning the series and advancing to the Super Final. So 2018. And watch this. Dinking out wide, trying to get Genie to stay out there. But Tina hits it wide. And look at this, Genie. What did she just do? What was that? High five. Teardrop. Oh, aggressive high fives for all, too. So she did say in an Instagram post in the comments that this was directed at Jimmy and Richie. Richie, the owner of the BLQK Bears. Jimmy, the president. We all know Jimmy Miller from the King of the Court podcast with Tyler Loom. And Jeannie, I guess, is not a fan. Look at these aggressive high fives. Let's go. Let's go. Bye-bye. Cry about it, Bears. Everybody thought that she was doing it to Tina Pizzik at first. <laughs> they were like, damn, she went hard on her. All right, so bright and early Tuesday morning. Look at that crowd. It grew a little bit, a little bit less than you'd hope for in an MLP Super Final. So first up, we had women's doubles. Judah Castillo and Jeannie Arakina taking on Ava Redkowska and Yana Newell. This was a great women's matchup. Look at this. We're tied 10-10 here. This is intense. It's going to start off with some dinking. They're going to keep Yana Newell back off the line. And that ended up being a good strategy. We're going to get into a firefight here. And then it's on. Let's go. Let's play pickleball. Oh, the winner from the shock. They get it 11-10. They took the lead against the reigning champions. So we're at 13-13 now. Hard eights playing some defense. Look at that ATP. She's not even on the screen. Ava Redkowska. Oh, very wide ATP. You're going to need some room to do that. Look at all the people in the attendance watching. Oh, man, what an angle. Gets it to go. 14-13. Radzikowska is just an all-time great for MLP Challenger League. So we're tied here. 19-19. This game is close. What an awesome matchup this was for our first game of this Super Final. Look at this. Shock back on D. Trying to make their way up, but they can't get to it. 
Hard eights, keeping them back, doing a great job. Hit some nice roll shots, some good overheads. Two-handed backhand overheads. Finally, the shot can make their way back up to the kitchen line. We're going to get into a little bit of dinking here. Some solid dinking, keeping everybody out wide. Look at that. Judy Castillo speeds it up in the middle, and she pays for it. Hard eights win that one. They're up 2019 now with a chance to take this first game. So here we go, 2020 now, and watch this. Jeannie stepping in, getting big. Look at that. 21-20, the shock now have a chance to win it. Fast forward, we're tied up 22 to 22, and look at this. Hard eights, they got game point now, 23-22. So once again, we're tied, it's 23-23, and watch this, ATP missed by Ava. I don't know if she meant to miss that or not, but ended up being a good move regardless. So now they got the advantage. This game is so intense. Hard eights have a chance to win it. Look at that. Off the net. Oh, it hits her. The shock tied up at 24-24. Take a look. Oh. So the hard eights end up with a 26-25 lead. Gosh, look at that score. That's crazy. And they're going to end up winning this one. 27-25. What a game. So for men's doubles, the hard eights came out strong. They ended up playing real well against the shock. CJ Klinger and Todd Foe, they end up beating Rob Nunnery and Martin Emmerich. 21 to 17. CJ Klinger, what do you think about the result? Uh, it's the grand finale. Uh, we're we're going to try to go uh, undefeated all year. And is it Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. Excited for this one today. Why is that? Uh, it's the grand finale. Uh, we're we're going to try to go uh, undefeated all year. And is it... <laughs> You do sound excited, yeah, I guess. I love that he looks at her like, was that a good answer? Did I do that successfully? Do you accept? He's my favorite. So the hard eights, they come out and mix and they dominate. I mean, look at this score. It's 20 to 12. This was a blowout in this third game. And so Martin Emmerich and Jeannie Arakina were no match for Yana Newell and Todd Foe. Todd Foe played a great match. And look at that, that backhand punch against Martin Emmerich to win it. The SoCal Hard Eights win all three finals undefeated in the Challenger League. CJ Klinger, how are we feeling? These individuals. Oh, this is a special team, Eva, Todd, and Yana. I'm, I'm so glad I, I'm on this team and they, they drafted me. What about Ava? He's going to be thinking about that all night. He's like, oh my gosh, I forgot Ava. How did I forget that one? And so the SoCal Hard Eights, they win the MLP Super Final which for some reason is just a plate, a silver platter, a record. I don't know what that thing is. Guess it's a trophy. This is supposed to be like the biggest one. This is the super final. It's not just a final. It's the super final. It's about the whole half of the year, and they get the tiniest little plate. I mean, literally the other trophy was so big that CJ Klinger couldn't even hold on to it. And now this thing is so tiny, it's almost awkward. Michelle. Garrett, thanks. Nice. Todd Foe wins the MVP. Bling, bling. Is that really what they're going to do? They're going to give out gold chains and say MVP? I guess it's better than a trophy. I, you know, you could actually wear that. He gets a cruise too, right? This recipient wins a four-day, three-night stay at their choice of either the Margaritaville Hotel San Diego Gas Lamp Quarter or the Margaritaville Resort Lake Tahoe. This prize is being gifted, of course... San Diego or Lake Tahoe? I mean, that's not bad, but it's not a cruise. All right, next up, let's talk about the thing that everybody cares about, the Premier League. We started off with the D.C. Pickleball team playing Orlando Squeeze, the matchup that we saw in the finals the last two times. They're starting off with this matchup. Weird format this time around for the Premier League. Let's use this graphic to kind of help us. Thank you, Squeeze, for putting this out. MLP didn't even put something out like this. So as you can see, DC, the Squeeze, they've made it to the finals each time. So they're pretty much like the top two teams. So they're going to play each other. The winner is going to go straight to the Super Final. But the loser then has to play the winner of the Chicago Slice and Miami Pickleball Club. And then whoever wins that, they go to the Super Final. So a little confusing if you were to just hear about it, but seeing it visually, I think helps a little bit. So there you go. That's kind of the setup that we got. So first up, we got women's doubles. We had Rachel Rohrbacher, Anna Bright. They're taking on the Kawamoto sisters. 
And the Orlando Squeeze really played well in this women's doubles team. They are going to take this first game 21 to 18. Sets the squeeze up with a 1-0 lead. All right, and the next up, we got men's doubles. Zane Navratil and Andre Diescu taking on Riley Newman and Christian Alshon. And watch this play from Zane. Tweener against the tweener king himself. He gets that to land. Look at this. Tweener to get up 2-1. So the squeeze up 9-7 here. And watch what happens. Zane's going to hit a dink out wide. And watch what Riley Newman does with it. When he hits it out to the left side of our screen here. Riley Newman, ATP. Andre gets a piece but can't get it back over. The ATP. Listen to the crowd. The chippiness you were looking you notice at. anything? So that's too good. And it was, Mr. Newman. No Vuvuzelas. They banned them this time around. No air horns. No Vuvuzelas. Oh, what a relief to all our ears. So squeeze up by one here, 11 to 10. We're going to have a little dink rally and then watch this speed up that comes in a second. Look at Zane Navratil. He's going to get aggressive here. The counter stares him down. Squeeze up, 12 10. What a get. So DC squeaks out a bit of a lead here, 17 to 16. Riley Newman body bags Andre Diascu. They get it to 18-16. So DC working with a two-point lead here. Trying to tie this thing up one-to-one. -one. Look at Riley getting pumped. What is that? Is he pointing to his watch? What was that? It's time for me to choke. So we end up tied 20-20. And look at this crazy point. Zane and Andre fighting for their lives here. I can't even believe they tied this thing up. Look at Zane smashing overheads. They get a 21-20. They got a chance to win it now. And so the squeeze are going to pull this one off. They win it 22 to 20. Get up 2-0. This rivalry's awesome. So here we go. DC, the back's against the wall. They got to win this game to stay alive. Mixed matches Zane and Rachel Rohrbacher against Jade Kawamoto and Riley Newman. Look at that scorpion. Scorpion again? A double scorpion. How fun. So 12-12 here. And watch this. It's a tie game until Zane Navratil gets involved. Ernie! Oh, look at the balance. 13-12 now for the squeeze. So DC ends up edging out a two-point lead. And watch this from Rachel Rohrbacher. She's going to get aggressive. Watch this. Body bag. Take that, Jade. Don't apologize, Rachel. So squeeze up by one here, 18-17. to This is getting close. Squeeze trying to win this thing. Look at Zane stepping in, getting big. And Riley hits it out, and Zane lets him know. So the squeeze with a three-point lead, 20 to 17. Great get by Rachel. She's going to get aggressive. Zane cleans it up, and they win it 21 to 17. The squeeze are moving on. They make it to the Super Final. They beat DC three games to none. Man, what a backwards score that was. The first two times I played them in the finals, they were down two games to none. They didn't drop a single one this time around. The Orlando Squeeze absolutely have the best mascot in the game. Squeezy! Speaking of things that are the best, let's talk about the best pickleball. So as you heard me talk about in the beginning of the episode, PCKL Pickle has one of the best balls in the game. I actually play with this one all the time. I've played with it in tournaments. It's like an official ball. It's the Pickle Elite 40. Guys, it's winter time. Your balls are starting to crack. Whenever it's cold weather, balls just fall apart. But not this one. This is one of the most durable balls on the market. I've literally been playing with the same ball for weeks. You can get them in packs of 4, 12, 24, 48, 100, whatever you want. If you use promo code SORRY, S-O-R-R-Y, you're going to get 15% off your order. Buy your balls in bulk. Get like four friends, get 100 balls, split it four ways. You're getting a huge discount. It's a good color too. It's really bright green. It really helps at nighttime. Courts I play with, terrible lighting. So I need something like this where I can actually see the ball. Obviously, they're USA Pickleball approved. If you spend over 75 bucks, you're going to get free shipping on this. So definitely pick yourself up a pack of like 48 or 100. Once again, promo code SORRY, S-O-R-R-Y. That is going to give you 15% off. Take advantage of this while it lasts. Hit that link in the description below to get set up to get your elite 40s. All right, let's get back into it. Our next match, we got the Chicago Slice taking on the Miami Pickleball Club. Ben Johns' team versus Tyson McGuffin's team. 
So we'll start with men's doubles. Ben Johns and Eric Lang taking on Tyson McGuffin and Federico Stackstrand. The slice came out hot. Look at that ATP from Ben with the backhand. They get it to 6 nothing. So fast forward, we're at 16-9. Slice up big. A 7-point lead. And watch this point. Lots of overheads for Miami. Slice. Back line playing defense, trying to make their way back up. And slowly but surely, they do. Lots of backhands for Ben Johns. Great resets. Look at this. They get back to Dinkin. And how does he flick that in there? He hits the corner. Gets it 17-9. Here we go. Slice up. 2013. Looking to take this first game. The Miami Pickleball Club says, not yet. Look at that ATP from Tyson. They keep it alive. 2014 now. And so slice up 2019 here. Miami came back and no! Oh, no. Fed crossed the plane. And so Chicago Slice have a chance to win it. Game point on their paddle. And look at that. Speed up. Miami ties it up. 2020. They were down big. And they came all the way back and tie it. And so here we go. Miami, they got a 21-20 lead. And look at this. It's out of bounds. Miami takes the first game. Ben Johns loses the first game. Look at that. That's big. Tyson, what do you think about that outcome? Think, uh, we thought we could set the tone early. Uh, even nice though we have these guys all year, we're 0-2. We're uh, just Docile. got our first win, so definitely happy about that. But it's not about how it starts, it's about how you finish. Huh? Where's my It's mind? about how you finish, just like the way you finish an interview. He goes from, like, low energy to how we do it, San Clemente! Woo! Miami! It's like he remembered halfway through that, like, oh, yeah, I'm the guy that gets all hype. Next up, we got women's doubles. Lacey Schneeman and Jesse Irvin taking on Hurricane Tyra Black and Mary Brasha. And they go down hard. The Chicago Slice win this one easy, 21 to 14. They're tied, one and one. So next up, we got Mix, Jesse Irvin and Ben Johns taking on Tyson McGuffin and Mary Brasha. And watch this, Jesse with the Ernie. Gets it to go, they're up 2-0. So the Slice end up dominating this match as well. They're going to win this one, 21 to 11. Look at that. Slice up two games to one. They're one game away from making it to the Super Final. And so the next game, not even close. The Chicago Slice with Lacey Schneeman and Eric Lang, they're going to beat Hurricane Tyra Black and Federico Stackstrud, 21 to 15. The Slice advance. They're going to play DC pickleball team in the semifinal. All right, so here we go. The semifinal. Whoever wins this is going to play the squeeze in the super final. It's the DC pickleball team taking on the Chicago Slice. First up, women's doubles. We got the Kawamoto sisters taking on Lacey Schneeman and Jesse Irvin. So fast forward, we're at 18 17. The Chicago Slice up by a point here. And the Kawamoto sisters, they are going to keep fighting. Watch this. We're going to have a fun little fire fight. Good get. Oh, look at this. Back and forth. Lands out of bounds. DC ties it up. 18-18. Let's go. So now we're tied up 19-19. After a long dink rally, we get this point. A lob missed by Lacey, but she recovers and gets it in. Big slam from Jackie. Trying to keep Chicago back. Chicago trying to work their way up. Speed up. Works from Jackie. They're up 2019 with a chance to take this first game. And so DC Pickleball team, what a get from Jade, the lefty. DC Pickleball team, they're going to end up winning this point. They take this first game 21 to 19. And so men's doubles, Christian Alshon and Riley Newman played great against Ben Johns and Eric Lang. And they are going to end up taking this game. So they win it 21 to 14. This last final point here, look at this. Ben just smacking it in there, trying everything he can. But DC was just too good for them. So DC up two games to none. Looks like we might be on our way to another rematch of the Squeeze versus DC. And so our first mixed match, DC comes out with Riley Newman and Jade Kawamoto. And it all comes down to Eric Lang and Lacey Schneeman, definitely the weaker of their two mixed teams for Chicago. But they're going to have to win it at some point. So might as well put them out there at first. Eric Lang came out and balled. So did Lacey Schneeman. Look at this point right here. Oh, the slams from Eric Lang just trying to get any. I mean, that is just ridiculous. How are they getting any of those? Fastballs. Oh, they 
DC is playing incredible defense. Look at this. Eric Lang's like, get out of my way, Lacey. And DC wins the point. They tie it up 17-17. Look at this. Eric Lang's like, get out of the way. And he trips and then can't get back to recover. What a point. And so DC has a chance to win it here. It's 2019. The match is on their paddle to make it to the super final. And after a long dink rally, oh, Jade drops it into the net. Chicago's still alive. And so here we go. Slice up 21-20. This would be big if they could take it. And then watch what happens. Riley puts it in the net, and they do. Chicago wins it 22-20. to They got a chance. Ben's coming up and mixed. They could tie this thing up. And so here we go. Ben Johns and Jesse Irvin taking on Jackie Kawamoto and Christian Alshon. Christian Alshon came close. I mean, this would have been a big moment for him if he could beat Ben Johns to make it to the Super Final. But right here, Chicago Slice, they're going to tie this thing up. Two games to two. So we're going to a dream breaker. This is big. This is to get into the Super Final. Now, as we all know, Chicago isn't exactly designed to win a dream breaker. And DC Pickleball team has a great roster for singles. So here we go, the dream breaker. We got Riley Newman taking on Eric Lang as the first matchup. Riley Newman took the first point, and then watch this second point. Eric Lang, definitely not known for singles, but look at this. All these like flicks over his head, back and forth. Gets it to land. They tie it 1 1. So Eric and Riley, they split it 2 2. Next up, we got Ben Johns and Christian Alshon tied 3 3. And watch this. Christian Alshon thinks he's slick. Tweener. And Ben easily gets it, puts it away. So Ben and Christian, they end up splitting it 2 2 as well. Next up, we got Lacey Schneeman. Taking on Jackie Kawamoto. And once again, we have another 2-2 split. Look at this. We're tied still. 6-6. Six, six. Next matchup, Jesse Irvin taking on Jade Kawamoto. And look at this. Once again, another 2-2 split. We're tied. 8-8. Eight, eight. This is crazy. There's no way they split this one up again, right? There's no way it's 2-2 again, right? It is. Look at that. Eric Lang gets it tied 10-10. Okay, that had to be the last split, right? They can't just keep splitting these points, right? Look at this. Ben Johns is amazing. <laughs> that is incredible. Ties at 12-12. Another 2-2 split. How many times are they going to split points? It's 14-14. Nobody could get an edge on the other. That's seven straight. So the DC end up finally getting a lead. It's 1916 here. Last point for Riley Newman. And look at that drive. Gets it to go. 2016. And look who's up. Christian Alshon. You just need one more point, man. Just one more point. You could do this, right? Let's see what he's got. I mean, you got a few points to work with. The Slice have 16. You have a few chances. Look at this. Oh, he's got to win this point, right? Oh, my goodness. How did he get that? Around the post. Ben is getting everything. Benjamin Johns, how dare you? Makes Christian Alshon do the splits. Uh-oh. Don't choke, Christian. Look at that. All over the place. Can't finish. So Christian Alshon couldn't do it. And it all comes down to Lacey Schneeman. Look at this. The slice up 21-20. Oh, no. And Jackie puts it in the net. And the Chicago slice. We're down two games to none. They end up winning the two mixed games. They were down 20 to 16 in the Dream Breaker. And they do it. They win it. They're headed to the Super Final. How is this possible right now? Christian Alshon. Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't cry. Do not cry, Christian. Seeing in the player's face is just kind of like, what happened that last couple minutes? Devastated. Thousand-yard stare. Oh, no. Cameraman loves Christian Alshon after a loss. Look at that. Is he crying, though? I don't think he's crying. I think he's just, just devastated. Which, how could you not be? You had it in the palm of your hands. He literally did have it in the palm of his hands. He needed one point, and he couldn't do it. I mean, that's what happens when you play the best player in the game, Ben Johns. My favorite part about the Slice winning this was that they had Rob Cassidy do the interview. Did Hannah Johns just have to, like, leave or something? <laughs> Rob is not even looking at them. 
just looking straight ahead while he answers like, hmm, let me analyze what you're saying. Let me think about it. Jesse did did what they do, and then uh, it's you know anyone's game in the Dream Breaker, and uh, we able we were each able to kind of play our part and. Um, <laughs> He's and just making a ton to, of faces. You know, use some experience and some big serving to close it out. Absolutely. You How many different faces did he make there? Team. I mean, he is wearing sunglasses, but it seems like he refuses to look anybody in the eye while they're answering his question. And that just makes like 17 faces. Absolutely anybody's match because the Dreambreaker is just so streaky. Uh, so, yeah, I'm proud of this team and looking forward to tomorrow. Absolutely. How does it feel going to the ship with a team like this? What did oh he just God. say? How does it feel going to the ship with a team like this? Going to the ship? Oh my it's with a P, a ever. P sound. Finals. Um, I love this team. I think we've been working really hard together, as, you know, on the court, off the court, Serious. getting to know each other, and it really showed today. <laughs> uh, we pulled through and we fought hard. And <laughs> he looks like a security guard or something. I fought hard and we, we he looks like Jesse's bodyguard. He's just like looking out into the crowd for any threats. Wait for it. MLP by Margarita. Bill will see tomorrow. MLP by Margarita. Bill. <laughs> I guess margaritas were on his mind. He's like, oh, wait, this isn't a drink. It's a company. And so here we go. We've made it to the super final, the last MLP game of the year. And we got the squeeze taken on the slice. Let's start with women's doubles. Rachel Rohrbacher and Anna Bright blew out Lacey Schneeman and Jesse Irvin. Look at this. 21 to 14 to start us off. Squeeze up one game to nothing. So men's doubles, Ben Johns and Eric Lang taking on Andre and Zane for the squeeze. Squeeze up by three here, trying to get the serve back so they can win it. Little mini firefight, and Andre puts it away. So they get the serve, chance to win it and go up two games. And so here we go. Get into a little dink battle to start us off. Andre speeds it up, and it ends up being a good choice because they're going to win it. 21 to 17. So Orlando is up two games to nothing to start us off. We got a two hour time slot on ESPN. We're not even an hour into it yet. This is a quick one. ESPN probably panicking. All right, so our first mixed matchup Eric Lang and Lacey Schneeman taking on Zane and Rachel. We're at 8 5 here. Squeeze up by three. And look at Zane. Tries to poach, but Eric Lang is there to stop him. Watch this one more time. That's a good play from Zane. Eric just got a piece of it. Squeeze up by three. It's 10 to seven. And Zane is just playing great mixed. Look at that. Aggressive. Stands there. Stares him down. They're up 11 to seven. Squeeze looking good. They win this. They win the whole thing. So the slice fighting for their life here. They're down by two. 17 to five. And Eric Lang and Lacey Schneeman, I mean, they really played their hearts out. Look at this point right here. Lacey puts one in. They get it 17-16, only down by one. So 17-16 here. And watch this backhand punch from Eric Lang. That's his move. They tie it 17-17. So we're all tied up 18-18. Squeeze still looking to win this thing here. Look at this little firefight finished by Eric Lang. He's on fire. 1918 slice up by one. So the slice end up getting up 20 to 18. Look at Eric Lang. He's like, let's go, crowd. Let's get hype. We still got a chance. He's feeling it. And so here we go. The slice got a chance to take a game off the squeeze. And they are successful. They do it. They got one. Eric Lang coming out and getting a game with Lazy Schneeman's big. So it all comes down to this final game right here. Anna Bright and Andre Daescu taking on Ben Johns and Jesse Irvin. What a good matchup. Look at this, Ernie. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a Burt from Ben Johns. They get up four to two. And so the slice up six to three here with a three-point lead. That's never safe in MLP with rally scoring. Chicago Slice playing some great defense. Oh ben gets that one to land. Now the Squeeze are playing defense. Ben John's trying to roll one in there. Getting big in the middle. Trying to find the angle. Can't quite get it. Squeeze are trying to get back at the line. And then watch what happens. Ben is going to... What is going on? He hits another Burt. 7-3 to three now. What a point that was. So slice up 10 to 6 now. Big four-point lead here. Look at that from Anna Bright. Gets big. 
coming from the right side, screams in their face. It's 10 7 now. Very next point, watch this. Andre Diescu with the Ernie. Nice little flick there, gets it to 10 8. So slice up 19 16, trying to get it to a game point. And Ben John's going to get aggressive like he usually does, especially in mixed. Staying in the middle there, a bit of an eye formation. Jesse on her back heels. Look at that. Ben comes in and puts it away. 20 to 16. The slice have a chance to get this to a dream breaker again after being down two games. Is it going to happen? There's no way, right? So squeeze down by three, but they got the ball. So at least the slice got to win it on their serve. Squeeze. Backs against the wall, playing good D. Little firefight, and Andre puts it on the line. 2018 now, and so the Chicago Slice. Look at this. They're going to win this one. 21-19, to they did it. They won both their mixed games. They came back again, but we still got a Dream Breaker. And how fun, a Dream Breaker to decide who wins the Super Final for the second half of the season for MLP in 2023. So once again, the Slice don't exactly have the best singles teams. The Squeeze, they have Zayn who plays singles. They have Anna Bright who plays singles. Andra Diescu, great player. Rachel Rohrbacher, she's clutch too. Squeeze definitely have the advantage going into the Dream Breaker. But they don't have the momentum. So let's see what happens. So here we go, first matchup, Ben versus Zayn. Slice up 2-1. And look at this shot from Zayn on his back. Ties it up 2-2. That's big. Next matchup, Anna Bright versus Lacey Schneeman. And look at this. Anna Bright is just going to keep pounding drives away. They tie it up. They got it to 5-3. Next matchup, Eric Lang taking on Andre Deescu. Eric Lang. Look at this shot. He's able to get it to 7-5, so a two-point lead for the squeeze. And so the last matchup, Rachel Rohrbacher versus Jesse Irvin, and she goes 3-1 and one against Jesse. Squeeze up 10-6, looking good in the Dream Breaker. So back to Ben and Zane, and look at this. Ben Johns, he is going to tie it for the Chicago Slice. They get it 10-10. So tied 10-10. Here comes Lacey Schneeman. And watch this shot that she's going to pull off. What is that? That was cool. Anna Bright's going to get her back with this one. Look at that angle. Squeeze tie it up, 11-11. So here we go. It is 12-12. This is so intense. Eric Lang against Andre Diescu. Eric Lang playing at the kitchen line, stopping most of these. Oh, weak overhead, and he pays for it. Look at that shot from Andre. Gets it, like, right on the line. They're up 13-12. Let's see that again. Oh, just gets it in there. So squeeze up by one. Eric Lang, he's got to make moves here. Look at this. Comes up to the kitchen line and plays. Great D. Gets it to go. They're tied 13-13. So squeeze up by one. 14-13 here. Watch this. Eric Lang's going to hit an Ernie in singles. Look at that. Who would have expected that? Tied 14-14. So here we go. The slice up by four. It's 18 to 14. Ben has a chance to win this here. Look at Zane hitting crazy angles. That's a nice shot. Gets it to 18 15. So it's 19 15 now. And watch this shot from Zane. Ready? Ernie. Cross court. Gets it to go. 19 16. They're coming back. And so we're at 2018. This is so close. The squeeze are serving, so they got a little bit of wiggle room. Look at this. Lacey Schneeman with incredible defense at the kitchen line. Keeps them alive. Slice with a chance to win it. And so the slice were down two games to zero. Came back and mixed. And now in this Dream Breaker, look at this. Anna Bright sails it long. The slice win the Super Final. What? How did they do that twice in a row? Ben Johns went from losing the first Super Final to now somehow wiggling the Chicago Slice's way into the playoffs here to even make it to the Super Final. Two times in a row, they were down two games to zero, looking like they were going to fall apart, and they came back and they won it. I mean, this was crazy.
I mean, look, there's a bit of an asterisk on all this. It wasn't a real MLP event. You know, it was just kind of this playoff thing. Still, with the format they were given, they did it. And so somehow, the Chicago Slice, they end up as our MLP Super Final Champions at the premier level. And so the Slice, they get their little plate too. You know how the Stanley Cup, they like pour beers in it and drink out of it? I feel like with this, you got to put some food on it and eat out of it. Like, you know, mix up a little salad on there, take a few bites out of it. It'd be too cliche if you put a pickle on it and cut that up and start eating it. And Lacey Schneeman is going to win the MVP award. Where's her necklace? Get her some bling. Yeah, you get a little, like, plaque diploma thing. I would much rather have a little necklace that says MVP. Congrats. You won that thing. So there you have it. 2023 MLP is in the books. It was a great year of MLP. I really hope we have another season next year. I am so scared that something is going to happen, whether it's bankruptcy or players just protesting and not wanting to play or the contract's not working out or the PPA pulling some BS on MLP. But either way, I think we could all agree that MLP is like where pickleball should head towards. And so that's going to do it for a recap of the MLP in San Clemente. Before we get out of here, though, let's play a quick game of partner, body bag, winner off the net. Partner, body bag, winner off the net. Partner, body bag, winner off the net. Play a dancing, winner off the net. Dice and McGuffin, winner off the net. Hey, Waters, body bag, body bag. James Lee, got a wish, body bag, body bag. Sorry, not sorry, winner off the net. Sorry, not sorry, partner. If you're going to body bag somebody, make sure you do it the right way and do it with a pro series. It's the paddle from Pickle. The Pro Series 13 and 16 millimeter. I love this paddle. I have it. It's so fun to play with. If you use promo code SORRY, S-O-R-R-Y, you're going to get 15% off. Plus, any order over 75 bucks is going to be free shipping. It's a no-brainer. We got the holidays coming up. What better gift than a paddle? If you're like me, you want to get your family and friends into pickleball. Maybe they play a little bit. Maybe they got their Amazon paddles. Well, get them this one. This is like the perfect paddle for somebody who's finally looking for that moment where they're going to upgrade. If you want to get something with a little bit more power, go with the 13. If you want to get something with a little bit more control, go with the 16. Personally, I play with the 16. I think it's a great doubles paddle. It's got a great look. I love the neon green. With all the paddles for pickle, you get a 30-day trial. So you got to just test it out. Plus, it has a lifetime warranty. A lifetime. That's your entire life. If you live to your 90 years old, that's a 90-year warranty. That's crazy. It's a pretty light paddle, but the best part is you could get one of those strips of lead tape that they have on their website. You could add it wherever you want. I put mine near the throat on the bottom. Helps with a little bit more stability. Maybe you like yours on top to add a little bit more power. That's the best part. Customize it to whatever you want. So go ahead and check out this paddle. You're going to get a free paddle cover with it. Use the promo code SORRY for 15% off your order. Free shipping if it's over 75 bucks. You can't go wrong. All right, partner body bag winner off the net. The game where I'm giving three people in the pickleball world, and I got to decide who I'd partner with, who I'd body bag, and who I'd hit a winner off the net with. Sorry, not sorry style. And so the three names I have are number one, the MVP, Lacey Schneeman. Number two, the other MVP, Todd Foe. <laughs> and number three, the MVP of mascots. It's Squeezy, the Orlando Squeeze mascot. That big giant orange. Or is he a Clementine? Or is he a Nectarine? What is the difference between all those? Either way, he's a big orange fruit. All right, who would I partner with? Who would I body bag? Who would I hit a winner off the net with? Uh, well, I don't want to body bag Squeezy because it wouldn't be satisfying. It would probably just bounce off of him and come back at me and then i'd end up body bagging myself i don't really want to be partners with squeezy i can't imagine it's easy to play pickleball as a giant fruit it would be pretty funny to hit a winner off the net and maybe squeezy kind of like stumbles and then falls but like squeezy's safe because he just kind of like rolls around and then i don't know i don't really want to body bag Lacey schneeman either so I guess by process of elimination, I'm going to body bag Todd Foe and then I'll partner with Lacey Schneeman. She seems like a good partner. <laughs> so there you have it. I'm going to partner with Lacey Schneeman. I'm going to body bag Todd Foe and I'm going to hit a winner off the net on Squeezy. All right. So there you have it. That is going to do it for this week's episode. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Only a few more episodes left of the year. We're going to be back in two weeks to talk about Tuesday Night Pickleball. Their championship is coming up. And then for Christmas, I'm going to do a year-end top 10 moments of Sorry Not Sorry. So 
with that being said, make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on that. Hit that notification bell because I'm a little bit on a different schedule. I don't want you to miss out. Also, go ahead and hit the like button. It helps get the show out to a bigger audience. Leave me a comment below. What did you think about the Slice winning this? What did you think about the Hard Eights winning this? What did you think about MLP doing this on a random Monday and Tuesday at like 10 o'clock in the morning? If you're looking for a great gift this holiday season, also check out the Etsy store for Sorry Not Sorry. Lots of great shirts, hats, towels even. Everything is Bella Canvas, and if you know what a Bella Canvas shirt is, you know how comfy that thing is. It's free shipping on all your orders. You could also leave me a super chat if you want to ask me a question or if you want to just get something off your chest and say it to everybody. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching. We'll be back in about two weeks. See you then. Take care. Forgiveness is more than saying sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Forgiveness.